Hello, I'm Phil Svitek, 360 Creative Coach. And in this episode, I wanna pose a question and kind of explore it and really deep dive it. And by no means am I saying I have a definitive answer to this. It, it really is a self-exploration and also an exploration of the question. And I invite you to offer up your opinions around this and I would ideally like to create a dialogue, whether in the comments section or hit me up on social media at Phil Svitek. Now, the jumping off point for this discussion that I, I uh, really wanna have and explore is, is kind of the events of Texas. If you're unfamiliar for whatever reason, last week, uh, Texas, as a lot of other places in the US, got hit with a snowstorm. However, Texas, was ill-prepared for it, and their electricity went out, pipes were bursting, and it just, it was just uh, a, a shit show all around. Sorry to use that phrase, just, it's the only one that came to mind. And, you know, a couple of things as, as far as, you know, the explanation for that, well, uh, Texas is in its own uh, electrical grid, um, or power grid rather, and so it can't get the benefit from you know the the nationalized grids. There's an East Coast and there's a West Coast, um, so they really kind of were on their own. Uh, the reason why this happened was uh, they didn't um, essentially uh, insulate or whatever the term might be. They didn't like um, proof their materials for any sort of element, and that's another reason why. Uh, but ultimately, as this was kind of happening and people were without power and water and, and so forth, uh, you know, there, there was uh, Ted Cruz, the senator of Texas, who went to Cancun and he got a lot of backlash for having basically, you know, or at least as people have pointed out, uh, abandoned Texas, right? And just kind of was self-serving. And some people have argued, well, what was he to do um, in that situation? It's not like he could you know, do much. And it's like, well, first off in my mind, he is a leader. So of course there's ways to do stuff. Um, you're seeing that with uh, people coming together from all parts of the US to, to really help and so forth. But as I was watching this specifically with Ted Cruz, I was seeing a lot of humor based around it and poking fun and so forth. And it got me thinking that Yes, this is like the low-hanging fruit to make fun of Ted Cruz, to cite him a hypocrite based on the p things he said in the past, uh, you know, about other states and so forth. And now he's kind of, you know, being a hypocrite himself by going against uh, what he criticized others for. And it got me to think the reason for that is like, okay, I understand people need to be held accountable, but in that situation, just making you know, pointing the, the, the finger and kind of making, more specifically making fun of Ted Cruz really didn't solve the situation. And early on, as far as I was observing it, and I'm not saying this is the truth with a capital T, but more so of kind of my vantage point into it, uh, I wasn't seeing enough about what could be done to help the people in need. Because it's one thing to rag on Ted Cruz, but that doesn't help the people who are in need. And so, you know, Maybe that stuff was already out there and I just wasn't seeing it and I had to get my mind in the sense of like, okay, I could very much jump on this bandwagon and make fun of Ted Cruz, but that is not helping. That's not gonna spread good information and allow action to take place. So instead, you know, once I reshifted my mind, I was starting to see, um, you know, things about helping people in Texas, you know, donating water bottles, money, and ways to basically get involved. And I post about it on social media. Uh, but that was a conscious effort on my part to really make sure I was like, I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna distract from the real issue at hand, which was people in Texas need help. And if, you know, yes, it's, it's, it's crappy in a lot of ways what, what Senator Ted Cruz did, but it's like, if that's what he chose to do, then you know what? It says everything we need to know about him and things like that. And there's a time and a place for the ramifications and so forth. But first, you know, uh, it's it's prioritizing 
what needs to happen. And in those moments, to me, it was like the, the people in Texas, those are the people that need help. That's the priority rather than like the focus on Ted Cruz. And, you know, it got me thinking to a larger extent kind of how to create meaningful social change. And I think, listen, I think there's great things that have come because of social media and people, you know, really being adamant about about certain things. But I caution us, including myself, to really not let that just be the default. We have to, real meaningful change comes through activism. And activism is a daily grind like all meaningful things in life. You know, Stacey Abrams, her culmination, like what, what, what she managed to do with Georgia, really was the culmination of 10 years worth of work, ringing doorbells, organizing people, and so forth. But, you know, uh, so, and now that she is getting the recognition for that, now it's glamorized. But it, you know, all those times before, that wasn't viewed as sexy because the result wasn't there yet. But she had to go, you know, you don't get the result without the process. And so as far as significant change in our culture, it, I, ultimately it takes more than just social media and so forth to do that. We have to do it legislat- legislatively. How do we do it legislatively? Well, you know, we have to continue to vote. We have to press our representatives. We have to attend, um, you know, uh, the, the meetings that we can be a part of, so especially on a local level, you know, the town halls and so forth, the counties, yada, 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 right? It takes activism, as the, as the name implies, it requires active citizens. And, you know, just kind of in, in that sense, and again, I'm not saying that it doesn't work and that, that it doesn't have a place, but we can't overemphasize a social media activism, you know, thinking that that's going to be the thing that does it. No, I think social media is a great, powerful tool for a lot of things, but it also has the ability to detract us from the issues. As for me, at least, you know, a section of social media evidenced by the fact that, you know, people were just creating memes and poking fun at Ted Cruz. It's, and listen, there's a certain level of catharsis along with it. You know, it's, it's releases the pressure valve, if you want to consider it that way. But in the end, it, do, it, it doesn't help the people in Texas that needed help. And that is my worry in some of this stuff. I think sometimes we can nitpick very specific things and go after those when in the grand scheme of things, is that really moving uh, the, the, the needle forward towards social equality, right? And I worry about that. You know, there's the other aspect of me. And again, I'm not saying I know, like, like I said, I don't know all the answers. I don't claim to be the judge, jury, and executioner. I'm just posing this because I think it is worth asking and considering you know, to me, uh, there's, there's, uh, in the Bible, there's a moment where, uh, there's a woman who gets deemed an adulteress and she gets dragged out and caught in the act. The man, they don't do anything with him, but they do something with the woman. They drag her out and, you know, throw her in front of Jesus and, basically are ready to stone her. And he, to the extent that he says, uh, in how he, he basically makes a point of like, whoever, whoever has not sinned can throw a stone to that extent or gets to throw the first stone or can throw this first stone. And it's interesting because then no one ultimately does. And so in a lot of ways, what this story highlights is that we are so quick to just scrutinize other people when we ourselves have been in the wrong on things in the past. And it doesn't say don't, you know, I'm not arguing that people should get away with heinous things. Uh, 
But I think also we have gotten away from grace and empathy. And I worry about that. And tied together the things that I'm talking about, as I said, I worry about that we aren't going through the proper channels to within our society of how we've agreed to, to you know, hold someone accountable or not. And likewise, is the thing that we're really aiming to change that big significant lever that ultimately is the goal that we are after. Like basically, you know, we lose sight of the forest from the, the trees, right? We can't see too far ahead of us. And so we're focused on, you know, perhaps a smaller issue that, yes, deserves attention, but not as much as something far more significant in a particular time and moment. And so these are the things that I kind of think about. And yeah, it was, you know, like, like I said, I'm not above or better than anybody when it comes to this. I was very much on a dunking of Ted Cruz and call, calling him out as a hypocrite. And I had to take a step back for myself. So I understand that, that you know, you can be drawn into this um, in that side and so forth. But I think... At this point, if you've seen enough of my stuff, you know I try to elevate myself as well as the the, the standard for everybody, you know, to, to a more elevated society. I think part of how we get there is at times to take moments and reflect and really consider things such as this so that way we can really examine what is the ultimate goal here and what is the best course of action to get there at any particular moment in time the strategy is going to change uh, as time goes by and sometimes we get it wrong in a mo particular moment and yeah we, we adjust accordingly or we would hope that we adjust accordingly but we can't do that if we don't take the time to really take that step back and focus so that's what i've tried to create with this episode is that opportunity to really reflect and consider some of these things and i invite you as i said to to consider with me Comment down below or hit me up on social media and let's let's have a dialogue. Let's have, you know, you can agree with me, you can disagree with me. And if you did, either way, as long as you're respectful, I'm happy to have that dialogue with you. So thank you. I appreciate you. And I hope to see you next time. <laughs>